Yo 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 guys, what is up? It's your boy JRDN back on the channel with another Forza Horizon 3 video. As always at the minute, um, this game is just sick. That's why really, it's all I'm playing. So much fun, really really enjoying it. We're taking a break from the Let's Plays with this video. I'm going to bring you a little video that I've collected a few clips over the past week or so. Um, about making money now i know there's a lot of glitches not glitches little sort of exploits in the game with the goliath race and doing one of the sprints where you get the drift taps that levels you up good that's fine do that but this is another one which i think some people oversee with forza horizon 3 to bring the auction house back you can definitely flip cars and by flip i mean buy cheap and sell for more that is the basics of it so on the clips that you can see on the screen now this Nissan one, what I was doing here, I was loading up one one auction that I wasn't going to buy and then backing out and then all the other ones that are finished, it, finished, it shows you what they sold for so it gives you a good estimate of how much they're worth, how much they're actually going for instead of just going in there and tricking money down. If you load an auction up and sort of wait five minutes or so, back out, all the finished auctions will be greyed out but they'll tell you what they went for. So you have a rough idea if they're consistently 600,000 plus, you know, that's what your selling market is and you don't want to go above that. I think at the time it was all around the 500,000 mark of these clips. So I didn't mind. I thought, right, I'm going to be able to sell them for about 500,000. I don't really want to be going above 400,000 because as soon as you go above that, you're cutting into your profit. Now, I know from selling cars, buying cars, selling cars, that... The auction house or Forza take a percentage of what you sell your car for, but I don't know the exact figure. It seems to vary, but it's normally around the 10% mark. So if you just take 10% into account, then that's that's your leeway. It's probably be a little bit less. If if you bought the GTR for 400,000, sold it for 500,000, you've made 50 grand profit. I know it's not a massive amount, but if you're doing something else, you know, if you're on your laptop, if you're watching videos, if you're just messing about in-game, it's an easy way just to make a little bit of extra money here and there. So, that's what I've been doing. I've got a few clips, like I said, put together. So, you can see here that I'm bidding on both these GTRs. I've probably gone a little bit high, but another thing to take into account is... If they've got vinyls, if they've been upgraded, if they're a higher ranking, then they normally go for more. Here you can see on this one, I've been outbid. We're going up to 326. I believe the other one was at 430 and I've been outbid. So it's getting to that point now where you either... You, well, you get to the point where you need to say, right, no, that's it. We're stopping. We're going to lose out on these ones. We're going to go find some other ones to bid on. And we're going to try and win those ones because you can get carried away. It's difficult to stop. You can get carried away and you'll end up winning it, but you'll end up paying the price that everyone else is buying for them. So for you to then be able to make profit off that auction, it's going to be very, very difficult. Unless you get lucky where people are having a bidding war on your car out of all the other ones, which has happened a few times. Don't get me wrong, it can happen. But most of the time, you want to set yourself a limit by loading up an auction, waiting five minutes, backing out, seeing what they all go for, and then that's your sell price, and then you want to decide what your limit on paying for the car is, so that you still maintain a decent amount of profit. And if you spend some time, you can actually pick up some bargains. So here you can see I'm outbid on both. We're at the four, over the 400 grand mark on all the bids. So we just call it a day there. We quit, we don't bother, we back out, we save our money, wait for them to end, collect our money, and we've dodged a bullet there. And then we'll just go hunt for one that was at a reasonable price and just keep going. Here you can see we're doing it all with Horizon Edition cars in this video just because they're the most popular ones. You can do it with other cars. I've just done it with Horizon Edition cars on this video. So here we pick up a Dodge... Viper Horizon Edition carts for 527,000 which will have gone through the same process of loading the auction up, backing out, 
seeing what they go for and then making a decision that I probably don't want to spend over sort of 600,000 would be my limit so then you can see that I've set that luckily we've ended up getting the car for 527,000 so now it's just a case of setting your limit I always what I do now is I don't I set a limit for rounding it down to the nearest hundred so if you pay anywhere in the 500s you list it for 500 if you pay 600 and above you list it for 600 if it's 701 list it for 7 etc etc that's what I do now because it entices people to go into a bidding war if you set it really high to try and get your profit nine times out of ten it doesn't sell I got lucky here one person put a bid on for 700,000 pounds so right there from that one that one flip of me not really doing anything spending five minutes to buy the car couple of minutes to list it leave it for an hour we've made what from 527 170 grand take off your 10 percent and what's that 10 percent 17,000 we've made over 150 grand off that car for all of probably five minutes worth of work so this is definitely definitely a good way to be able to make some money just on the side it doesn't take up much time now here you can see that we've picked up a, another horizon edition car the subaru brz we paid 580 grand for this one again like all the other ones before go through the same process of loading up the auction waiting five minutes so there's a decent selection of auctions for the same car that have ended to give you an idea on the selling price you can then work out your buying price depending on how much money you want to make and then it's just a case of it's not easy you don't win every single one it does take some time to get lucky to buy one but if you just keep at it putting your money down backing out when you get to your limit and then find another one eventually you will pick the cars up and you can sometimes pick them up really really cheap so we sold that BRZ for I can't remember how much 728 and we paid what 500 and something for it so again there another car sold minimal effort 150 grand profit so that's 300 grand that we've earned there from next to no work I know the good thing is as well once you've bought the cars chuck them up on the auction house for an hour and then you can go out and carry on with your campaign carry on doing your grinding online whatever you want to do because it's so easy just to hop back into the auction show relist it if need be or collect your coins and then go hunt another one then you go back out again and if you want more time to be able to play the game put it up for three hours put it up for six hours the only bonus of an hour one is that it's a quick turnaround. So here we pick up a GTR for 400 grand and a Viper for 500 grand. So again, there'll be the limits that I've set myself. And then you've just got to keep working at it. That probably was, well, the GTR probably took me 10, 15 minutes to be able to buy one backing in backing out backing in backing out bidding on ones losing it is going too high and just knowing when to not carry on and eventually you will get lucky and you'll be able to pick the cars up for cheaper than what they're worth I think personally it's a good way of making money yes it may not be the fastest yes it may not be the most efficient or the best way to level up because you are just making pure money but like I said, once you've bought the cars, once the cars are up for sale on the auction house, that's it. You can just leave them for an hour. So there you go. GTR, we made 100 grand profit. Take your 10% off. You've left with sort of 95 grand profit from that one car. Once it's up for sale on the auction house, you can go, carry on. You can do whatever you want. That's the best thing about this is that you don't have to sit at your xbox for six hours doing 40 laps of the goliath race yes you probably make a hell of a lot of money from it i mean 50 laps you can make nearly 10 million credits but that's a lot of time and effort yes that's the best way to make money same as the drift tap exploit it's a good way of making money because you level up so quick from all your wheel spins 
But if you haven't got all that time to be sitting there grinding the Goliath race or grinding the drift tap method and you just want to play the game, this is definitely one of the better ways to make money because you can do it while you're still playing the game. That is the main the main bonus of of this method of making money. I find it works pretty well. When I first started the game off and I had sort of six, seven hundred thousand credits. This is what I started doing. It's the same principle in loads of other games. It's like FIFA, for instance. Ultimate Team. You buy, you buy cards. You buy player cards that are sought after. Your popular football players. You search and search and search. You buy them cheap. You then put them back up and you sell them for profit. It's the same in any game with some sort of auction um, feature in it. You can do it on anything and everything. And every game that it's in is a popular way of making money just because of how easy it is. Yes you may have to relist them a couple of times but they will sell. That is the bonus about doing the Horizon Edition cars because they're always going to be sought after because of their bonuses. So there you could see we listed that Viper up and we sold it for 864-854,000 again that's probably another couple of hundred thousand credits profit that we've made off that and it's yeah like I said it's just it's just really easy really really easy to make money you have to put a bit of effort in finding your buying prices and your selling prices and then going through auctions trying to win cars but if you haven't got massive amount of money you know you can just turn around one or two cars at a time and then once you've got the cars like I keep saying Put them up on the auction house, you forget about them, you can go watch film, you can go out, you can go to cinema, you can have your tea, whatever you want to do, even go play a different game. Go do it, come back, and you've made your money. You don't have to sit on the game grinding for hours and hours and hours. And this clap, this clap, this clip here is me picking up a Horizon Edition car for, I believe, 101,000, no, 1 million, 101,000 credits. These cars, because of the drift skills boost, because they're being used for the drift tap exploit, these go for upwards of 1.8 million now. So if I get minimum 1.8 million, I've made 700 grand on that car for all of 15 minutes work. Stick to your margins and say, right, this car sells for this much. I'm not going to pay more than 400 grand because we can sell it for 500 etc etc that's what it's about it's about being strict that's the money making method i thought i'd just put it out there in case some of you guys out there aren't aware of the possibility to make money off the auction house so i've gathered some clips up for you hopefully it's cleared some things up and that's it for me today guys we'll be back with the let's play as always for next video as always guys have a great day an amazing week i'll see you next time Peace out.